Okay, finally, we need to know something about CloudWatch logs in EC2. By default, your EC2 machine will not send any logs to CloudWatch. And so to send logs to CloudWatch, we basically need something that's called the CloudWatch agent to run on our EC2 machine. And this CloudWatch agent will push all the log files you want straight to CloudWatch. So it's something very neat to have. So here's an example. This is the CloudWatch log service, it's green, and we have our EC2 instance in orange. And on it, we're going to run the CloudWatch log agent, and this will just send all the logs from our EC2 machine straight to CloudWatch. So for this, obviously, we need to make sure that our IAM permissions are correct to push data to CloudWatch. And you should know that it is possible to run the exact same CloudWatch log agent on your on-premise server to also collect the logs and send them to CloudWatch logs, which is pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and install this CloudWatch log agent onto our EC2 instance to see how things work. So here we want to push the CloudWatch logs to CloudWatch. And so for this, we'll install the CloudWatch log agent. I'm aware there's a new unified agent, but it's a bit more complicated. We'll go and configure the older CloudWatch agents on the running EC2 instance. It will work just fine and it will achieve the exact same purpose. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is to configure an IAM role for user for our CloudWatch logs. And we need to make sure that the policy allows logs to be pushed. So for this, we can go into our IAM role and see what it is about. And we can see that right now we have CloudWatch full access. And if you look at the policy itself, it looks like we have all permissions on logs. So the IAM role is fine. Excellent. So let's go back to our EC2 instance. Next, what we have to do is to install and configure the CloudWatch logs agent on an, EC, uh, on an existing EC2 instance. And for this, we just need to run sudo yum install minus y AWS logs. So let's go ahead and do this. We're on our instance and I'll go back one level up and run sudo yum install AWS logs. So now the log agent is being installed. Next, we have to edit this configuration file to configure the, the logs to track. And we're not actually going to do it because we'll just leave it as default. But if you're interested, you can go and look at the concept of this file. It just exactly shows you how every file will be tracked. What we have to understand is that right now, the only file that will be tracked and sent to CloudWatch will be the slash var slash log slash messages. And this is how this file is going to be configured. Looks like everything is okay. Next, we have to go and edit the AWS logs lsci.conf because right now all our logs are going to be sent to the ES East one region otherwise. So for this, we'll just edit this file. So let's do this very quickly. We'll do sudo nano and then this file. And in there, we can change the default region to, for me, it's going to be EU West one, but you can figure out what your region is very easily. Okay, so now that we're done, we can start the agent. And for this, we'll do sudo service AWS logs start. And actually, because we're running on Amazon Linux 2, we are going to use systemctl. So we'll do sudo systemctl start AWS logs D. Here we go, done. And we scroll down. We also need to make sure that the agent will be running where our instance restarts. So we'll just run this second command as we are to enable the service. Okay, excellent. So now, as the documentation says, we should see the log groups being created and the log should start streaming into CloudWatch. So let's go to CloudWatch, which is right here, and we'll go to CloudWatch logs. So I'll just refresh that page. And here we can see that we have the log group var log messages that was created for us, which is awesome. In there, we get a log stream, which is the stream from our EC2 instance. And the ID here is the exact same ID of our first instance in there. So it's the same instance ID. And if we click on it, we start seeing some messages of the var log uh, messages log. And so that's awesome. Here we will get a log. Obviously, it's not the most interesting log for us. But if you have an application log or whatever, you need to just configure the agent accordingly, and you'll get all the log messages appearing to CloudWatch. So that's it. I just wanted to show you how it was done. But just remember, you need to install the agent and push things directly to CloudWatch to monitor your EC2 instances logs. I hope you liked it. And I will see you in the next lecture.